UJ President Abu Zafar Sujo, General Secretary Sohil Haider Chaudhry and leaders of Bangladesh Newspaper Employees Federation and Bangladesh Federal Union of Newspaper Press Workers. Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said a revolution has taken place in the media sector under the Awami League government. He said Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is a very much media friendly and she began working from the first day in office to implement the Night Wage Board. Agriculture Minister Dr. Abdul Razak has urged the agro scientists to be more sincere in the implementation of various development works of the government. He was addressing a workshop titled Formulation of Agriculture Ministries SDG Roadmap held at Bangladesh Agriculture Research Council today. Chaired by Agriculture Research Council Executive Chairman Dr. Kabir Akramul Haq, among others, scientist Emeritus Dr. Kazi M. Badrudja, Agriculture Secretary in Charge Muhammad Nasr Zaman, Planning Commission Member Dr. Shamsul Alam, SDG Affairs Chief Coordinator to the Prime Minister's Office Muhammad Abul Kalam Azad, and Parliament Member Agriculturist Abdul Manan spoke on the occasion. The Agriculture Minister said BNP had initiated new conspiracy to unstable the government and hinder the ongoing development activities of the government. People would never allow these conspiracies to succeed, Dr. Abdul Razak added. Bangladesh Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, BTRC, has launched the first ever database of International Mobile Equipment Identity, IMEI, numbers of mobile handsets, this is aimed at curbing illegal import, sale of fake handsets, as well as uh, telephone-based crimes. Post Telecommunications and Information Technology Minister Mustafa Jabbar inaugurated the database at the BTRC office. This was in the capital today. With the database in place, a customer would have the chance to find out whether a handset was real or fake by cross-matching it with a VIMEI database. IMEI is a 15-digit unique identification or serial number that all mobile phones have. Customers intending to buy a device can know the 15-digit IMEI by dialing star hash 06 hash from the handset. The legality can then be checked by sending an SMS with the IMEI to 16002. Prime Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momen has said Bangladesh wants partnership, cooperation and collaboration from all countries to expedite its journey on development highway achieving core development goals. He said this at a discussion on the Jatiyo Press Club today. Bangladesh Study Trust arranged a discussion titled Bangladesh Bhutan India Nepal BBIN is the prospect and reality with Trust General Secretary Professor Dr. Mamunal Mahdab in the chair. Former Ambassador M. Abdul Hanan presented a keynote paper at the discussion. The Foreign Minister said Bangladesh needs massive investment to achieve its development goals and turn Bangladesh into a developed nation by 2041. He also highlighted energy cooperation among BBIM and members ensuring a win-win situation. Education Minister Dr. Deepu Moni has said development in all sectors will be successful and sustainable when quality education is ensured. She said this while sharing views education officers and heads of dif different educational institutions at Chotogram College in the port city today. Director General of Secondary Education and Higher Education Directorate Professor Sir Muhammad Ghulam Farooq chaired the meeting which was also addressed by Chotogram Education Board Chairman Professor Shahida Islam, Technical and Madras Education Division Secretary Mohammad Alamgir Kobir, Education Secretary Mohammad Sora Hussain, and Deputy Minister for Education Barrister Mohibul Hassan Chaudhry. Dr. Deepu Moni urged all to work with sincerity and honesty for developing quality of education under the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. State Minister for Youth and Sports Zahid Asan Rasil 
held a few exchange meeting with the officials and employee of the Department of Youth at the conference room in the capital today aimed at bringing dynamism to programs of the Department of Youth Development. Youth and Sports Secretary Mohammad Abdullah and Director General of Sh Youth Development Mohammad Shahid Zaman were present, among others. Early officials and employees of the Directorate received the new minister with flowers. Ekushe Padok winning lyricist, composer and music director Ahmed Imtiaz Bulbul passed away. In Alilahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun. He was 63. Ahmed Imtiaz Bulbul won a number of awards including Ekushe Padok National Film Award and the President Award. Bulbul suffered a heart attack at his residence at Aftabnago in the capital and was taken to hospital. The doctors declared him dead. After getting news of his death, artists, admirers and peoples from all walks of life gathered at his residence. President Mohammed Abdul Hamid and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina expressed deep shock at his death. Bulbul's dead body was kept at a BSMMU hospital morgue today. His body will be taken to the central Shahid Binar at 11 a.m. yesterday so that admirers can pay the last tributes to the legend. His fa fa first namaz janaza <coughs> will be held after Zohar prayers at Dhaka University Central Mosque while his second namaz janaza will be held at the FDC premises. Bulbul will be laid to rest at the martyred intellectual's graveyard in Mirpur. Bulbul will be fondly remembered for the timeless tunes. He gave tunes to songs like Shop Kata Janala Kule Dauna or Maji Nao Chairade and Shundo Shubono Taruno Labono. He also created background scores for hundreds of movies. And now international news. At least 27 people were killed and 14 injured when a bus in Balistan in Pakistan burst into flames after crashing with an oil tanker. The bus was going from Balistan from the city of Karachi when the accident took place near the town of Hub. Shortly after the accident, flames engulfed the bus, which was carrying fuel smuggled from neighboring Iran in plastic containers. At least 11 people have died in a fire involving two Tanzanian flagged cargo vessels in the Black Sea near the Kerch Strait. Russian rescuers are trying to reach sailors who jumped overboard. 14 people have so far been rescued. One ship is a gas tanker and the fire reportedly followed an explosion which set the other vessel on fire. They were named as the Candy with a crew of 17 from Turkey and India. A powerful magnitude 6.4 earthquake struck off Indonesia's central island of Sumbawa, but no tsunami warning was issued and there were no immediate reports of damage. The tremor on Tuesday followed a pair of offshore quakes in the same area earlier on Tuesday, including one that was of magnitude 6.1 south of the city of Rabat. The latest one struck about 85 kilometers south of the town of Kahale, according to the United States Geological Survey. There were no immediate reports of damage or casualties. And now news from the world of sport. Bangladesh's Katamaster Mustafiz Rahman has been named in ICC's ODI Team of the Year. Following the recent ODI series against West Indies, Mustafiz had broken into the top five of the ICC ODI bowlers rankings, which is also his career best ranking ODIs. Overall, Fizz had a good 2018, picking up 29 wickets at an average of 21.72. He was the joint highest wicket taker in the Asia 2018, where Bangladesh made it to the finals against India.
Mustafiz picked up 10 wickets, an average of 18.50. The team is dominated by Indian and English players. Indian players Rich Sharma, Captain Virat Kohli and Jasprit Bumrah made the team. Johnny Bairstow, Joe Root, Joss Butler and Ben Stokes are the English players. Well, Afghanistan's Rashid Khan and New Zealand's Ross Taylor also made to the team. Meanwhile, Virat Kohli bagged the Sir Garfield Service Trophy for Cricketer of the Year, the Test Player of the Year, and uh, the ICC Men's ODI Player of the Year. It's the first cricketer in history to do so. Rampur Riders defeated Kolna Titans by six wickets in the first batch of the f day of BPL in Bibu today. Kolna batted first and scored 181 runs for six in their stipulated 20 overs. Najman Hussain Shantu scored 48 runs for the team. In reply, Rampur reached their victory target and scored 183 runs for four with three balls remaining. Chris Gale and Alex Hale scored 55 runs each for Rampur. In the second match of the day, Taka Dynamites are now batting against Kumila Victorians, chasing a victory target of 154 runs. Taka scored 123 runs for 8 wickets and 17 overs when reports last came in. Earlier, Kumila batted first and they scored 153 for 8 in their stipulated 20 overs. Shams Rahman scored 48. And now before we end the news, let's take a look at what's making the headlines here. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina asks for ensuring transparency and accountability in project implementation as ECADC approves eight development projects costing more than 1,893 crore taka. Measures underway to make BRTC profitable as 600 buses and 500 trucks to be inducted in the organization, informs Ubaidul Qadir. Bodda Bridge construction progressing fast as sixth span being installed, making 900 meters of the bridge visible. The inclusion of a television journalist, the ninth wage board under consideration, says Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. Noted lyricist, musician, and valiant freedom fighter Ahmed Imtiaz Bulbul no more. President and Prime Minister Kondol. Last tributes to be paid at Central Shohid Minar tomorrow. Fire after two cargo vessels collide in the Black Sea kills 11. And Qatar Master Mustafiz named in ICC ODI 11 via Virat Kohli creates history, winning three best titles. Thank you for staying with us.